Hello, it's me Nico, and today is going to be a really fun day on Guanabana because we are going to be exploring the island and crafting three different house plots to help Tom Nook and to eventually have three new animals on Guanabana. It's going to be really exciting, so I'm very excited. <laughs> okay, so today, um, well, I guess last night, I actually started collecting a lot of materials so that we can plot and also start crafting for these three housing kits. Um, I may not be all the materials we need, we may actually need more, but I just wanted to get started so that we aren't spending too much time. I also have this little tiger beetle because this is going to be the daily donation because I really want to see blathers. But yeah, hopefully these like little crafting ingredients will be enough for starting the three, for starting, for <laughs> starting to craft for the three different housing plots. Oh, also, I wonder if the bridge is... Yay, we have a bridge! Oh my gosh, that's so nice. I'm really happy. Okay, is Cody, doesn't look like it. Is that a tiger beetle? I was gonna donate you today. Hello? Yeah, a tiger beetle. I pounced first. I didn't know they also appeared in the daytime. That's fun. Oh, also look. More flowers, I'm learning. <laughs> Let's go see what they have in Nook's Cranny. Look, a little panda! Hello, welcome to Nook's Cranny. I want to give you... Oh, and look, I have a ladder. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna give you the tiger beetle. A tiger beetle, sure, how about we... Wow, sold. <laughs> Thank you, please come again. Okay, wait, also I want this panda. It's so cute. It reminds me, if we, when we learn to customize, if we make this pink, it'll look like pinky. These are in limited supply, so act fast if you're serious. Let's see, that's 3,000, what do you think? I'll buy it. So cute, excellent purchase. Thank you for the 3,500 bells. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and then let's see, oh, let's do our daily donation to Blathers. Oh, I feel bad waking him up. <laughs> I'm gonna wake him up for a bug. Oh no, <laughs> poor thing. <laughs> Good morning, Nicole. Welcome to the Guanabana Museum. How may, I, how may I be of service? Make a donation. What would you like to donate? Uh, a tiger beetle. <laughs> what a wretched thing. Alas, I'm obliged to ask. Would you like to learn more? Please tell me. If that's the case, the tiger beetle is extremely fleet of foot, though it runs in a rather particular way. That is, it sprints, then stops, then sprints again, using these speedy maneuvers to run down its prey. You see, the tiger beetle, like a real tiger, is a powerful predator. The mere thought of it giving chase gives me the willies. Tigers are terrifying at any, at any size. Is there anything else I can help you with? I am fine. Thank you, Blathers. Jolly good. <laughs> I really like it because it feels like we're really starting to develop a routine on the island, which is very different from it's, how it's been the previous days. Wait, did I need to talk to you? Oh yes, okay. One of the things I want to do before we really start getting into these plot housing kits is to make a mini DIY workbench. I think this is really cute and I also think it'll be really useful so that we don't have to run to resident services anymore or as much. Um, I'm all done for now. So I'll take this and we can go start picking places for each housing kit. I also actually have a ladder now so we can go to higher tiers and it Cody! You're exploring. Looking built, Grad Grad. What's up? What's the latest? Don't forget to cool down after a workout. You don't want to overheat, and it helps to build even more muscle. Thank you, Cody. I'm gonna use this ladder now. <laughs> um, oh, what's he looking at? That's so cute that he's over here. I'm so glad that they're already using the bridge. <gasps> Cody, you're so cute. <laughs> okay, so we're here. We're on a higher elevate. <gasps> Shining spot and a dig spot. Oh no, I'm gonna get distracted today. I wonder if I should already start putting a house up here. Hello, what are you? Oh. Yes, I caught a mantis. Mantis, it's so cool. <laughs> cool is a 
we also got a new bug today. Wow, look how pretty this is. Yeah, so last night because I was like, okay, if I have to pick three different places for houses, I want to kind of start thinking how I want to craft Guanabana as a whole. Um, and it was a little difficult actually. I definitely know I want to change the island. I actually kind of like that I'm not absolutely in love with how it looks because that means I feel more encouraged and excited to changing it when we can. I wonder if I can put the houses up here or because there isn't like any way for them to easily connect with the rest of the island, no houses can go up here. But another thing I'm curious about is if the plots are going to be in the same order of how we met each animal. So like meringue would be number one and then pinky would be number two and then um, number three would be the little friend I met. <laughs> Or big friend. It's not peanut. It's not a squirrel if that's what you're thinking. I wish. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna go... Ah! Oh, wait. I have my net. Two bugs today! <gasps> yes! I caught an orchid mantis. Our friendship is blooming. Oh, I like that one. So cute. So I actually think... Um... I'm actually gonna go back down. Uh, and I think a cute place for a house would be back here because I'm thinking that maybe around here we'll put a ramp eventually right let me look at the map oh this is actually a little more difficult than I thought yeah okay I think I'm gonna put a housing pot back here oh also we should eat some fruit so that we can I have fruit with me what am I thinking okay so what I'm going to do is actually move this tree Actually, let's see how big one of these is. I'm gonna start from the front. Oh, actually it takes a lot of space. Mm, I need to rethink it. Maybe I should put it more central. Maybe depending on where I wanna put the ramp, I should maybe put the house a little bit more over here. Cody, thank you for helping me pick a place. Actually, this is pretty good. Um, I think I'm gonna put it here. Or wait, I'm so sorry. I like. Okay, so I think I'm gonna. Okay, yeah, let's put plot three here. I think this will be nice. I picked a spot for plot three. <laughs> I'm gonna work a little backwards. My phone is ringing. Hello, that unicorn? Yes, yes, this is Tom Nook. How goes your search on housing land? Uh, I've got some ideas. Stupendous, I'm relieved to hear that everything is going according to plan. Be sure to check the box in front of the plot for each home. It'll show the items required for that plot. Interior items should be placed in the box while exterior items should be placed outside around the plot. We wanna make it look nice and decorative now, hmm? Once you've set out the plots for the three homes place the and place the required items, come report back to me. I'll be waiting in res resident services. I'll be waiting in resident services. Thanks again for your help. Let me kind of investigate. Okay, so getaway package plot three, construction box. To all construction helpers, please submit items for this building following the spe specified procedures. Uh, check interior items. Wooden, simple bed, wooden chair, classic picture. Okay. I don't have anything to turn in. How about exterior? Please check the following. Log dining table, log bench, wood, and bucket. Okay, so we have a lot to craft for each house plot then. I don't know if I should pick each plot first and then start crafting or take... Oh yeah, we'll pick each plot. So this will be for animal number three. And now let's pick for two and then finally one. I guess we'll work a little backward. Um, I wonder if it's actually too close to have another house here by the beach. Actually, should we try to see what happens if we put a house on a higher tier? I don't know what I want to do. I really love this space over here near the pond, um, but I don't know if eventually I want to make this space um, a campsite, maybe? So should I maybe put a house pot here? Let's see on the map again. I'm gonna see what happens if I try to put 
a house kit up here. Oh, there's another new animal, or animal. Oh, yeah. Oh no, that's not, <laughs> I don't use that to catch. Okay, yeah, let's see what this is. Yes, I caught a stink bug. It lives up to its name. <laughs> cool, we've gotten so many new bugs today. Okay, so let's see. I'm trying to think. Wow, did you see how that crawled? That was so cute. What will happen if I scare this one? Ah, sorry, okay. So we'll have that and then maybe someone can live here. I'm just curious to see what will happen. I have to try. Let's put the first one. Oh, okay, so it seems like I'm allowed to do so. Let me rethink then. Uh, let me imagine it. Yeah, I think that'll be, okay. I think that's good, I hope. <laughs> okay, I picked a spot for plot one. Now to pick the next spot. I wish, actually, I wonder if I should have put them more towards the edge of each tier so that then you can kind of see them. Hmm, I think it'll work out. It'll work out in the end. So now that we have that, we just have the second one actually for our last plot. Should I have them be neighbors? Oh, actually, let's see what they need. Interior. So they need cherry speakers, cherry lamp, and a pot. Okay, and then for the exterior, they need stone table, stone stool, and clothesline. Okay, let's put this one here. I hope. <laughs> yeah, this is the spot. I picked the spot for plot two. Oh, my phone is ringing. Er, uh, Nicole? It's me again, sorry for the repeated calls. I forgot to tell you something important. You see, you'll need to get a wreath made from flowers. There are plenty of pretty flowers growing on the cliffs of the island, so tootle up there if you need to. I've already sent you a recipe for a ladder. Mm -hmm. It's an ideal tool for when you need to scale those cliffs. Anywho, keep up the good work, mm hmm? Okay, so we have officially placed three housing plots. So now it's time to start crafting. I already crafted a little mini work table, so I think I'm just gonna put it between each house and see how many recipes we can craft before we need to start collecting little uh, crafting ingredients again. Um, so yeah, I guess we can start with plot two because we're already here. Oh, I guess I should see what we need first so I know what to craft. So, interior items, wooden block stereo, wooden block table, wooden flower wreath, okay. And exterior items, we need iron garden chair, iron garden table, and birdhouse, okay. So I'm just gonna set the crafting table, I'll put it here. I think I have it, yeah, mini DIY workbench. Okay, and then let's see, I guess I should actually, wait, I kind of forgot what we needed to craft already. I think one of them was stereo, wasn't it? Do we have everything? I'm assuming. Oh, a wooden block toy. Okay, so let's start with this. I made a wooden block toy. Keep crafting. And now we can craft this. Okay, I made a wooden block stereo. Let me start with one of item first, just to see, okay, submit items. Confirm. I turned in one item. Okay, and uh, now we need to craft a windflower wreath, which I don't know how many we need to collect. So let me just check. Uh, here. Oh, we can also craft. We'll craft. So we need three of each color. Oh, it's really cute. I may make one for myself too. <laughs> uh, two, three, and then two, two, three, 
One more white. Three. Okay. Craft this. Yay, I made a windflower wreath. I want one too. And then the last thing we need for interior, I already forgot, but I think we need to craft the the wood wooden block toy. Was it a birdhouse? Or no? I made a wooden block toy. I made a birdhouse. Okay, all done. Okay. I turned in one item. All the required interior items are ready for this home. Yay! Okay, so now let's check all the exterior items and see if we can craft all of that together. So an iron garden chair, an iron garden table, and a birdhouse. So we can just, I'm assuming I can just place it here for now. That's cute. Okay, and now we need the two iron garden, the chair, and the table. So let's craft that next. And then we'll already be done with, oh, that's stone. Ah, iron, okay. I'm glad to check that. Uh, and yeah, after we place these two, we'll already be done with housing plot number two. Okay, and then we just need the, what did I just make? Okay, yeah, I'm so glad that they specify what you crafted because I would make that mistake all the time. I made an iron garden chair, okay. So let's just place these. Uh, I guess we can put the chair here. Nice, and then we'll put the table here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, all the interior and exterior items for this home are ready to go. Okay, good, so I guess we're already done with one of the houses. Um, I'm really excited to actually ha like I actually can't wait for the animals to arrive to Guanabana because then we can really start giving them um, decorations that suit their personality that's something that I definitely want to do for each animal and kind of give them their own little gardens and things that really suit their personality so when they arrive we'll start crafting specifically for them so for getaway package plot one we need um, cherry speakers, cherry lamp, and a pot, and I don't have anything to turn in. And for the exterior, we need stone table, stone stool, and clothesline. So actually, let me go get the mini DIY crafting table, and I'll move you over, and we'll start working here next. Okay, okay, I made a stone stool, and I know we need to make Oh, a clothesline. Well, we need to make a pot for the inside also. I made a pot. Okay, all done. Because I think I don't have enough space. So let me place these here. And then the stone table can maybe... Oh, wait, I haven't even checked. <gasps> wow, I didn't even check that initially. That is so beautiful. Look at all the other islands. Wow, okay, so yeah, let's put the stone table back here then, like under the tree and then facing the ocean. That would be really nice. Okay, so we also need to make a closing line, a clo nope, a clothing line, and oh, the I want these for myself too. These are so cute. I can't believe we get furniture for our native fruit. <laughs> Yay, I made some cherry speakers. Okay, I made a cherry lamp and then a clothing line and we'll already be done with plot number three. Oh, I'm so glad that I collected all the materials last night because this is making it so easy. Let's put this uh, here and then let's submit the last two items for this housing plot. All the required interior items are ready for this home. Nice. And then I'll pick you up. And then our final house is actually right here. Place you, and let's see what we need. Wooden simple chair, or <laughs> wooden simple bed, wooden chair, classic pitcher. And then we need log dining table, log bench, wooden bucket. Okay, let's craft. I made a classic pitcher, keep crafting. And then we need, oh this, the log bench, right? Nice. 
Uh, I made a log bench. And then finally we need this log dining table. That's right, that's right. I, why do I feel like that's not what I needed? I just made something. <laughs> Uh, all done for now. Oh, log dine and wooden bucket. And then interior, we needed the classic picture. So I'll just submit that really quick because we're also out of space. And I will place the dining. Oh, nope, that's not what I meant. <laughs> okay, and I'll push this. Ta da! And then we need the bucket. And we need one final item, and we'll already be done. Which I don't remember what it is. I feel bad that I forgot. Let's see. Wooden simple bed, wooden chair. Okay, I knew that. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. And I'll just put the bucket here since we already have it. <laughs> okay, and finally we have this. 18 wood. Oh, we may be a little short. I can't believe we'll actually have everything though. Or we had enough material for most items though. Ah, we're still short too. Okay, so I will get the stone axe and hope we can get the wood we need. I'll just collect everything and then let's make our final craft already. I can't believe we already finished everything. I made a wooden chair, all done. Okay, so let's give the final item and let's see what happens when we finish. We did that so quickly. All the items required are ready for this home. Okay, so we did that a lot quicker than I anticipated. So let's go talk to Tom Nook and see what he says about everything. Oh, hi Sahara, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> ah, Nicole, hello, hello. So how's it go? Uh, how goes it? Progressing nicely with the plots and the homes and the furnishings and whatnot? Uh, it's all going smoothly. Wonderful. That's what I like to hear. As you finish your part, I'll get started on home construction and welcoming our new residents. I vow to get this done quickly and to get it done right. Why, if it all goes well, we could have someone in a new home as soon as tomorrow. By the way, I plan on letting the island know about folks moving in and out during my island broadcast. However, once I know who will move into a certain home, I'll post the info on the sign for that plot. If you're curious, uh, so if you're curious, check the signs. Anywho, keep up the good work. So should I tell him that I finished already? What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. Uh, what would we hold a ceremony for? Oh, you want to take part in the ceremony, Nicole? Right now, we'd like to celebrate the completion of our new bridge. Oh yeah, I sure am. Splendid, let's get started. Okay, good, I forgot. <laughs> Oh, that's so good that we get to celebrate a bridge. Now then, welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Guanabana's brand new bridge. <laughs> so cute. Thank you. I feel like this new bridge is, tur is a turning point for the development of our once deserted island. I hope we can continue making great strides to improve the quality of life in this precious community. So cute. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing the ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo should get ready to press the square circle button. <laughs> yes, well then, with hope for our continued growth and to celebrate Guanabana's beautiful bridge. Hooray! <laughs> Cute. Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home. Nice! So I'm gonna talk to him once again to see if we need to do anything else or if he, don't forget, I'm waiting for you to find the housing kits I gave you. Check the box next to each plot to find out what furniture we'll need. Did I not finish? I was so confident, I thought I finished everything, but I guess we can go back and see. Oh, sold, <gasps> wow. Oh, Meringue chose the spot. Cute. I wish I had known that they were gonna pick spots based on which one I placed first because that's why I placed number three first thinking that animal number three would move there and then like Meringue would move to this one and Pinky would move to the second one. Wow, it's already sold. Okay, Pinky's gonna move here though, so that's what I intended. So then, what did I do incorrectly here? 
I'm assuming this is the one that cherry okay and check exterior oh my okay so I crafted it but I guess it doesn't count I guess it's too close let's see if this counts now okay oh oh I guess I didn't see that the last time wait this means okay <laughs> all the home and furnishing prep work is done Yay, okay, now we'll go and talk to Tom Nook. My mistake, my bad, sorry. Okay, so we'll talk to Tom Nook now and see what he has to say. I'm sure he'll be very excited to see that we have already finished the task today. Ah, Nicole, hello, hello. How have things been going since we last spoke? Are you close to finishing the pots and furniture? Uh, all done. Goodness, really? Thank you so much for all your hard work. That means the rest is up to me. I'll get started on a home construction right away so that we can welcome our new island residents. I vow to get this done quickly and to get it done right. Why, if it all goes well, we could have someone in a new home as soon as tomorrow. By the way, I plan on letting the island know about folks moving in and out during our island broadcast. However, once I know who will move into a certain home, I'll post the info on a sign for that plot. If you're curious, check the signs. And that's it, my friend. You have finished everything I asked of you. Ah, let me give you a token of my appreciation as promised. Yes, yes, this is for you. Oh, it's some fencing. You could surround your home and create a yard or surround some flowers to make a garden. Fencing should make it easier for you to create yards or parks or other outdoor areas. I'm positive this will lead to some interesting new landscaping scenes here in Guanabana. I'm thinking 50 pieces of simple wood fencing Wooden fencing should give you an excellent start. In the future, I offer I'll offer DIY. In the future, I'll offer DIY fencing recipes you can get by redeeming Nook Miles. The selection will change daily and will offer a variety of designs. Check the Nook shop some Nook stop sometime. Hmm. Oh yeah, we have to check to get our daily miles. Uh, well, I couldn't have done this without you, Nicole. That's for certain. Thank you. I'm really curious to see what the fencing will look like, so I'm gonna try and maybe build Sylvia a little fence for her home. Let's see, oh cute. All right, so how about, do I just, ah, cool. And what if I put it here? Oh, it connects automatically. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Wow, look at that, Sylvia, you have a little yard now. Let's do one for Cody. I like this little fencing tool, I think it's really fun. Hmm, how should we give Cody a little yard? Okay, maybe he'll be like that, or maybe we'll turn it. And he can have a little bit of like an open yard. And maybe we can get him like some uh, fitness items here so that he can have a little place to work out from home. I like how easy it is. Like if I don't like what I did, I can just pick it up and try again. Okay, so I actually really like this tool. I think this is good for a first time just playing around with fencing, but I'm trying to think what we've done today because we started kind of to develop a little bit of a daily routine and we helped place all the plots and craft everything needed. So Tom Nook said as soon as tomorrow we may start seeing some new animals arrive, which is super exciting. Guanabana is definitely going to get a lot livelier. Um, but yeah, I think that may be it for today. I'm definitely excited to see how Guanabana will continue to develop now that we will have a few new islanders arriving. But yeah, thank you so much for playing with me on Guanabana Island. If you enjoyed, you're more than welcome to subscribe. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you when I see ya. <laughs>